Welcome back to Income Trading 101. Today is Monday, March the 15th, 2021. Just wanted to take a look at MANA right now. MANA is uh, another one of the uh, crypto tokens that uh, has, I mean, look at this. Look at that little, uh, we call that parabolic for sure. Um, you can see how long this thing was just sort of flat. Um, stayed uh, under a dime, right? I mean, it It uh, looks like it started back in 2018. Sort of remained under a dime for the longest time, longest time. And then uh, 2021 happened and suddenly things started to get interesting, right? So 2021, on January 1st, 2021, we see a high of eight cents, eight and a half, eight forty-three. Um, we see a close of eight thirty-eight. You can see that up in the upper kind of left-hand part of the left-hand center, or just center of the left uh, of the screen. And you know, as of right now, we've got you know, and this is March the fifteenth. I see an open of of one o nine. One dollar and nine cents. That's ten x. Um, we have uh, more than ten x, actually, more like twelve uh, twelve x in two months, three months. Um, we have a high of one fifteen, a low of ninety three cents, and currently one o two, uh, one o two half. So this thing is moving. Um, I can tell you right off the bat, the moving averages are going to be pointing to a continued up move. Uh, the as will the MACD, but rather than uh, appear to be the know-it-all, let's take a look and just follow the system, right? I like being consistent because then you get responses that you can uh, that you can use and compare other trades to. Whereas if you don't do the same thing each time, in case anyone gets bored with this, if you don't do the same thing each time, you'll end up getting different. You know, you'll you'll end up comparing uh, apples and oranges. Like, oh, we didn't do that. We didn't do that style, but you know, we decided to use, instead of the 10, 20, and 60, I decided to use the 15, 30, and 80. And it's like, okay, well, how do you compare that result to something that you, you know, that you saw when you were using your standard process? So we are using the 10, 20, and 60. Sure enough, this is all just, I mean, look, when you have a move, go parabolic even in the month of March right March 1st close of 25 almost 26 cents so that's 4x in two weeks literally two weeks ago 14 days ago two I'm sorry did I just say 2x I apparently can't do math that's 4x in two weeks four it's crazy so um, let's go ahead and play with time a little bit we'll take this down to the 30 minute I'm sorry, we'll go one hour, 30 and the 15. So uh, what's interesting here, look at this. In the one hour, you actually see a little bit of a trail. Um, I am less prone to uh, sell this coin um, or this token, um, uh, mostly because that's a strong up move. And a strong trend like that is going to be hard to break, uh, even though at the one hour point, you're seeing some um, congestion because the 20 is above the 10, which is, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the 20 is above the 10, and then you have the 60 at the bottom. Um, I prefer to make trades when they are all in line. This to me would be, like look like it's approaching a sell signal, but I would be, uh, I'm hesitant to sell anything that's gone parabolic in two weeks, right? Just two weeks, too short of a time frame. The 30 minute you also still have congestion because you have the 60 on top but the 10 in the middle and the 20 on the bottom let's go to the 15. um the 15 you have the 60 in between the 20 and the 10. i don't know if you guys can see that but that's uh that's pretty interesting so you've got congestion at each one of these no clear uh reason to believe that that this trend is going to stop. And I honestly think it's more prone to continue than to stop because of the strength of that move. So let's go ahead and take a look at the MACD. 
And, you know, the MACD is going to be uh, kind of pointless on the daily. I mean, look at that. It's just, of course, it's just still just going crazy to the upside. But maybe when we take it to a lower time frame, it'll add some value. So, again, it doesn't surprise me at the one hour you're seeing that crossover because we've had a little bit of a downward trend. Um, uh, for the Ligus, this is since uh, uh, yesterday, uh, March the 14th. Uh, in the afternoon around 1 p.m. Um, but without, you know, the MACD line, which is the blue line, or the signal line, the red line, going below the zero, I wouldn't look to, to exit a position. And because we're talking crypto, you don't have the ability to short. So it's just really if you think it's going down, whether a, a question of whether you're going to buy or not. And this might actually be a buy the dip scenario as well. I mean, again, this is... That was a strong move, really strong. So at this level, the 30 minute, you're seeing a scenario where we are in the oversold category as of uh, earlier this morning on today. And this MACD and, and signal line are actually, uh, looks, looks like they are angling to go back higher uh, above the zero line, which would be an indication of, of the ability to purchase again and I would imagine the 15 minute is going to give us some similar results. So sure enough, you know, this morning uh, as well, the 15 on the 15 minute, the MACD gave a cross, went higher, and now it's sort of uh, hanging around lower. But I would still ultimately expect it to go higher. And, you know, it's, it's really fun to make these videos during, uh, you know, with crypto because it's trading. And if we get a big enough move, like it's moving right now in this current uh, this current bar that's being formed, um, you can end up seeing how in real time how these uh, how these um, indicators actually adjust uh, can adjust in real time, and something that seems certain one minute can end up being uncertain in the next. So um, ultimately, I'm not I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not seeing any reason to sell uh, given these, uh, these what do you call it, the MACD, certainly at the 30 and the 15. I think the 30 was approaching the zero line. And the 15, we've already broached the uh, zero line. And now it's just a question of whether or not we're going to get enough green bars in a row to pull this on higher and give a uh, a clear buy signal with the MACD and the uh, and the and the signal line. Um, we are not also we also aren't going to take a look at Fibonacci analysis. Why you ask? Because there really hasn't been a pullback that didn't lead to a new top. So um, let's take this back to the one day. And in the one day, it's just been parabolic, right? One day is parabolic. There isn't a whole lot there to analyze and we still have a scenario of, of uh higher lows so worst comes to worst if this ends up being kind of a, a flag or pendant i would still expect the previous very strong uh signal to continue and for those of you not familiar with what i'm saying with a flag you kind of do one of those and one of those we call that a flag and ultimately I would expect price to go ahead and continue to go uh, what do you call it up <laughs> it's not letting me do it there we go I would expect price to continue going up from there so let's get rid of these it's fun to have you guys uh, allowing me to amuse myself, but um, what a move that we've seen in mana. And let's take it to a little bit of a lower time frame and see if there's anything else that we want to look at or analyze. Let's get rid of that. Um, we obviously have had some strong trends higher, um, but that's pretty pretty strong. 4x your money in three weeks, like two weeks, really. So it's taking a breather, obviously, today. But even in this scenario, I mean, to me, that's still just looking more like a flag or a pendant. And I would expect 
uh, a continuation of the previous of the previous uh, previous trend. Take it to the thirty minute level. It doesn't matter how how uh, expanded we make it. I still I still would err towards the long and possibly going higher, possibly even retesting this one hundred twenty um, high that we would have seen back here. Uh, let's see. Yep, a high of 125. Um, I think we could easily retest. This thing could also go sideways for a little bit too. Um, but ultimately, uh, this is strong. Um, you can't short these coins, but if you own them, it really becomes a question of, you know, do you do you buy more or sell? Or sell? And if you don't own them, the question is, do you buy more? Um, I think if you currently own it uh, and you've, you've taken it back down from 125 to this 102 area, I would definitely look to um, put some sort of a stop loss order uh, if that's if you're if that's possible on your on your trading platform so that you don't take a ride all the way back down. But I think this thing could go much higher and uh, and uh, and plenty of room. I mean, plenty of room in the DeFi space, uh, DeFi coins on crypto. Uh, to make big moves. So that's it for my analysis of mana. I mean, it, it doesn't get much better. I mean, you want to know why people like crypto? That right there. This is about as um, beautiful as it gets in the trading world. <laughs> um, so, uh, hey, I'm curious, do any of you trade mana? If so, Leave a comment and hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel too. Thank you so much for watching the video and uh, I'll come back with you or come back to you tomorrow with a new one. All right. Happy trading.